Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Man and I'm Anjali Hay. And today we're going to do a video on Amit Shah, who we know is Modi G's master strategist. Mm -hmm. um, and we know he's um, kind of Modi's right hand man that helps him get these plans in place, um, has done a lot in in politics. We've seen him before in some of the videos we've done. We also know, unfortunately, that he went into the hospital yesterday because um, he tested positive for coronavirus. So we're going to pray for him and anybody else that has it as well. But um, we know he's going to get utmost care yeah. and hopefully he'll be back at Modi's side, Modi G's side. Um, as soon as he feels better so but this video is kind of coming up on the anniversary of uh, getting rid of article 370 and last year we did it when it first came out and there was a lot of people being Protests. angry about it there was a lot there was a lot here too in in the US government that people were talking trash about it as yeah. well um, so it was one of those things I think it, this was a secret plan that kind of went into place. They got the military in there, we know, before the, the article came out and before they talked about getting rid of it. Um, so it was a big, big deal. Yeah. Um, but we've also heard some good things about it as well. Especially from that video that we just posted, which was Yana, Yana that we watched. Mm -hmm. And she talked about all the good things that happened in Jammu and Kashmir after article 370 got banned or got taken away and it was like there were new hospitals schools buildings roads there were so many good things that happened in Jammu and Kashmir so article 370 banned was a good thing yes we we haven't heard enough positive things about it but her video yeah. really gave it limelight that there were a lot of things to come that they weren't all there yet but they were listing and the people that were harboring the terrorists or giving money to the terrorists um, weren't weren't able to do that anymore because all you the government saw exactly where the money was going right what you were using it for and everything yeah so. and like it had been originally planned to be part of India now it was you know like the other states of India and they had to say where the money was going where the money was yeah. coming and they had to make it you know put all these they're putting a lot of stuff, hospitals, schools, roads, railways, and to make it a great place. Um, there was a lot of protest because I think they thought stuff was going to get taken away from them. And really, I think only from what Yana said, good things are good coming things happened, towards yeah. them. So get your schooling, she said, and get ready to get a good job because um, it's going to become a great place. If they can keep those terrorists at bay and keep the people that were paying them off at bay, um, German Kashmir is a beautiful state and a lot of people would love to go travel there. Mm -hmm. It could and be a great place for travel, for business. It could become amazing. Um, and then we just need to keep that border with Pakistan tight too. Yeah. But we know this is really about Amit Shah's, um, helping Modi's secret plan to get rid of Article 370. So this is how he did it. Ready? Yep. 69 years after the death of India's Iron Man, Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel, the ruling BJP has found its own Sardar in none other than Amit Shah, the Union Minister of Home Affairs. The speed, the guile, the secretive manner in which the special status to Kashmir was abrogated in one stroke speaks volumes on the meticulous planning and the ability of Modi's most trusted lieutenant to make impossible possible. From chalking out the blueprint to covering every detail and plugging every possible loophole, he delivered the unprecedented. The decision to bifurcate Jammu and Kashmir and to end the special concessions to the state were taken few weeks after Narendra Modi came back with a renewed mandate in May. This difficult but onerous task was given to Shah. It was him who braved the topmost RSS leaders, including 
the Sar Sangh Chalak Mohan Bhagwat on government's intention to complete the integration of Kashmir with the Union of India and champion Sangh Parivar's 70-year-old vision of one country, one law, one flag. That's how it should be. Shah along with law minister Ravi Shankar Prasad and a few secretaries from the Ministry of Home Law and the Attorney General of India deliberated on the legal implications of these changes that were needed to strike off the special provisions under Article 370 It was tricky and a double edged sword the apex court on numerous occasions had declared that unlike the public perception article 370 wasn't a temporary provision but a permanent feature of the constitution hence any attempt to strike it off would amount to tampering with the basic structure of the constitution so the team found a way instead decided to drop the clauses that ensured special status to himalayan state even as it kept the controversial article in letter effectively rendered toothless a move that might help the government scrape through if a judicial review is done by the supreme court jahan tak jammu and kashmir ka sawal hai hame koi bhi kanun banane ke liye ya koi bhi sankalp lekar aane ke liye koi nahi rok sakta is desh ki sansad ko sampurna adhikar hai with legal aspects addressed the focus shifted to likely security implications in the valley and national security adviser ajit dobal was roped in by amit shah to assess the situation the nsa went to kashmir to evaluate the situation and based on dobal's assessment he cut short the amarnath yatra and asked tourists to leave the valley additional security forces were also flown in to contain the situation in case the valley erupts in protests post the curtailing of the special status internet services were suspended and kashmiri leaders both from the mainstream and political parties like mehbooba mufti and omar abdullah and separatists were put under house arrest security along the line of control was beefed up fearing mischief from pakistan based militant groups anuchhed 373 ke antargat on the political front the flow managers who ensured smooth passage of rti and triple talaq bill in rajya sabha by engineering defections in opposition ranks were given the task to ensure that government gets this historic bill to sail through the upper house the flow managers even managed to reach out to bsp supremo mayawati and prevailed upon her to support the move the weekend leading up to the historic monday was all about man to man marking busy phone lines and all nighters with amit shah himself personally reaching out to nda partners utmost caution was observed only 4 to 5 ministers were privy to modi government's move on sunday the meeting of the core team at home minister's residence continued late into the night it was only on monday morning a few hours before tabling the presidential order and corresponding jnk reorganization bill that the decision was conveyed to other cabinet colleagues they were asked to stay back to ensure that no leaks took place as shah walked into the upper house to change the political course of kashmir he was a confident man he knew the opposition will be in complete disarray taken in by the swiftness and the surprise of the move and that it would have little to counter the ruling dispensation with except creating a ruckus and so the stage was set as the shah of the bjp rewrote history क्या बात है आप एग्रेसिव होने की क्या बात कर रहे हो जान दे देंगे इसके लिए एज एन ऑर्गेनाइजर हिज फेम हैज स्प्रेड फार बियॉन्ड हिज ओन पार्टी बट बाय दिस वन स्ट्राइक शाह हैज एस्टैब्लिश हिमसेल्फ एज अ मैचलेस पेयर इन द डोमेन ऑफ रियल पॉलिटिक्स ही हैज नॉट ओनली री इनफोर्स्ड मोदी लेड गवर्नमेंट्स क्रीडेंशियल्स of a strong leadership but also made his own place as the true inheritor of the legacy of Sardar Patel Amit Shah did an amazing job not only keeping it a secret but organizing it so he had enough people on his side to get it passed through cuz he knew yeah. there was going to be some opposition that there was going to be some challenging um 
some people questioning it on the other side. Yeah, you know? and a lot of times afterwards, they were a lot of people were worried about change and what was going to happen. Yeah, because before they didn't know where the money was going. Before yeah. they didn't know, like, you know, they were getting more money than any other state. They didn't know where the money was going to. Um, now, you know, the money's distributed like it is amongst the other states and and I think India is trying to put extra money into that like building the schools building the railway building the roads to bring it up so that it is what it could be a beautiful place to travel to yeah a place that you'd want to do business in um you know it's not none of the states in India are all one religion all one custom all one everything they yeah. wanted one country one law one flag but that doesn't mean that everything is the same doesn't mean one custom one religion one no. culture india is so secular there's so many different people in it every state has its own language has its own customs has its own cultures some of them celebrate one festival another celebrates a different festival that is what makes india great yeah. removing the article got rid of the special things that you know was making it, it it was causing a lot more conflict with that article in than it was the other way around taking it out got rid of some of the money that was going to these terrorists um, and I think they brought in the military to keep the calm before the storm that was kind of the plan and which was a good thing and it really helped I think so hope you guys had a great night. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.